Where do we go now then? I feel like there's a lot. Whoa, 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 there is another one. There is another one right around this corner, man. The, the Lothering is bigger than uh, an Ostagar somehow. Okay, maybe not quite, but it's still really, really big. We're gonna need ever expect. What's this? Dane's Refuge Tavern. As well ask us how to get to the moon. Urn of Sacred Ashes. Knights were looking for it. If they didn't have anything better to do, I don't get it. Hmm. Best be careful. Dark Greetings, my lord. Damn it, I thought you'd be able to say things. You hey, helpful refugee, you need to talk to me. Tavern's full and <coughs> the Excuse me. Nuisance. Why is the tavern full? Same reason the chantry's full, packed with people who fled their homes. Shit. The tavern keeper's letting folks sleep on the floors, but he can only fit so many. And those soldiers are getting restless. Tell me about these soldiers. They're not here to defend us. They were looking for someone before they started drinking. I hear they almost killed a man because they didn't like his face. I wonder if they're deserters from the king's army. You seem unhappy. Is there any reason to be happy? With the king dead, them darkspawn will overrun Lothering before anyone can organize. You'd think those soldiers could at least run off the bandits. I hear someone gave them what they deserved. <coughs> Wasn't you, was it? Well, there might have been. Why could I lie? Ah, uh, yes, that was me. It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! More will <laughs> no one no arrives to fucking here. clap for me. That's sad. Thank you. No, literally only you were excited by that. That that's a real shame. I really. Oh my god, I'm tiny. I really, really wish I could have edited my height. Maybe I could have. Maybe I'm stupid. But I feel adorable. Look, Morrigan is taller than me. My dog is nearly as tall as me. You might not want to go in. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. Full and Thanks for the advice. And good luck to you. We could all use some, no? Uh, all right then, all right. Let's make our way into the tavern. Completely ignore the nice well, man's advice. Ah, hi, hello. I think we've just been blessed. Uh oh, Logan's men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about an elf by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen one? It seems we were lied to. I've only Gentlemen, been here five minutes. Surely, there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Hmm. What makes you think we're traitors? <coughs> Excuse me. Tern Logan claims the Grey Wardens betrayed the king. Or haven't you heard? Enough talk. Take the warden into custody. Kill the sister. And anyone else that gets in your way. Well, you're right. clearly That's fucking quick. scum. Whoa! Wait, is the sister in the fight with me? Liliana! Okay, then. I am going to shank you. We're... No, I'm going to kick you in the dick, actually. Um, do you want to pull out your fucking weapons? What are you doing? What are you doing, Firion? Shank him in the damn back! Oh, here we go! Yeah, kick to the dick is exactly what we need. While he's on the ground, no less. This man is a disaster. We're destroying him! This is a commander and he's gonna go down in just a couple of hits. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know what to say, we're just really scary. Oh, I was gonna make you pummel him or whatever the hell it is. I didn't know I could control my dog. Yes, let out a howl. Oh yeah, that didn't stun you. Why did that not stun you? How much damage does my dog do? A good amount, actually. And we can use you to turn- Oh, wow, I, we can't give away the fact that you are quite clearly a- Terrifying mage of death. So, use Mind Blast. Ah, that's how you stun him. You just need a more powerful stun. Now drain his existence away. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson, and we can all stop fighting now. Look at that terrifying blade you got, girl. Um. The Grey Wardens didn't betray King Kylan. Logan did. I was there. The turn pulled us out of a trap. The turn left the king to die! Uh, take a message. Yeah, fuck it. The wardens led the king to his death. The turn could do nothing. Take a message to Logan. What do you want to tell him? He'll have to do better than this. I'll tell him right away. Now, thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. It is okay. I like your accent. Um, who are you? Anyhow. It's alright, I was happy to save your life. No, dude, because she probably saved us. 
Um, so I see. What does a sister learn to fight like that? I wasn't born in the Chantry, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Hmm. I am Firion. A pleasure. They said you were a Grey Warden. <clears throat> I'm surprised you're an elf. But elves must want the Blight defeated as much as humans, no? I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Hey, <laughs> fucking excuse me? You're joining the party? Ah, why so eager to come with me? Yeah, fuck it. The Maker told me to. Hmm. The Maker is on my side! <laughs> Welcome aboard, then! Oh, I don't know. Fuck it. Can you... Elaborate? I... I know that sounds absolutely insane. But it's true. I had a dream. Oh, a I liked vision. you until you were like More a crazy. major religious nut. I thought we were all full up. <laughs> Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair. And this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. Hmm. You feel sorry for the people? Help them here. But I really do want you here. Nah, fuck it, you're joining my party. Very well. I will not turn away help when it is offered. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Okay, so we've got... What? Indeed. But I thought I had a... I got the extra dog slot mod! And I love the conversations between Morrigan and fucking... Wow, I'm a lower level than you two. Uh, between Morrigan and the dog. It's amazing! Please come with me. No! He's gone! It's not fair. Um, how do I make the Asher Dog Slot mod work then? Because I really like him, man. I, I'm really glad we got Nero. Fuck. Okay, um. I'll look into that when we go back to camp. For now, yes. we got shit to do, like talking to Laliana. What do you know of this place? Lothering? I think it started as a settlement by the river, and then grew when it became the place where two roads met. There are always people in Lothering, but many are just passing through. Let us talk about something else. Yes. What do you know? Uh, did I just ask that? Lothering? Yes. There are always <laughs> people in... Sorry about yes. something else. I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. This vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. Hmm. What then? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rosebush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest Shit. thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the Maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. Hmm. And this made you want to help me? In my dream I fell, or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? Well, I mean, if the Maker made everything, then he made the fucking blight. So, your logic sucks. Um. Oh, the blight is the Maker's punishment. I see. The Chantry says the Maker has left us. He's still here. I hear him in the wind and the waves. I feel him in the sunlight that warms my skin. I know what the Chantry says about the Maker, and what should I believe? What I feel in my heart, or what others tell me? 
Believe what feels right to you, Eliana. Thank you. <laughs> you have it's a cool nice name. <coughs> I know what I know, and no one will ever make that untrue. Damn it! Why do you have to have such a cool voice but also be an insane religious yes. nut? Uh, that doesn't help, man. Uh, I'd like to well, talk a little more. I am. Let us talk about what was life like in the Chantry Cloister. Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. Hmm. Yes, they tend to be self-righteous. When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. Hmm. Ah! What did you say to them? What can I say to them? What they believe is what the Chantry says, and the Chantry is infallible, yes? Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. No, you fucking haven't. Yes. We're talking more. We always well, talk more. Here I am. Here you are. What would someone like you be doing in Lothering's Chantry? What is meant by someone like me? Hmm. You know, beautiful, charming woman like yourself. And there were no beautiful, charming women in the cloisters, you think? <laughs> you would be wrong. There were many lovely young initiates in the Lothering Cloister. All of them chaste and virtuous. <laughs> it added to their mystique. Because no, we then, almost certainly be visiting there. And forbidden fruit is the sweeter, no? I guess we will find out, won't we? Morgan, look away. Um... Those initiates can't have been more lovely than you. Flatterer. I, however, did not take vows, and so perhaps I am not as any... Aha! Uh -huh. Even easier! Sucker ...and safe <laughs> harbor to <laughs> all we seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Hmm. What did you do before that? I was a traveling minstrel in Orlé. Ah. Tales and songs were my life. So you're a bard. And they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. You're hiding something. And we also got a plus yes. six for just flattering the something fuck out of her. Uh, I'd like to talk yes. to you about something. What's on your mind? Ah, uh -huh, there is more. What? There's a lot more. Why did you decide to come to Ferelden? My mother was from Denerim, and I consider myself a Ferelden. Mother served an Orlesian noblewoman who lived here when Orle ruled. When Orle was defeated and the common folk began to resent the presence of any Orlesian, the lady returned to Orle. She took my mother with her. I was born in Orle and did not set foot in Ferelden till much later. Mother was always telling me stories of her homeland. I think she missed it. What happened to your mother? Mother died when I was very young. Lady Cecily let me stay with her. I had no one else. She was quite old then, and she had me study music and dance to entertain her. It is unfair that I have more memories of Cecily than my mother. It is. Do you remember nothing of your mother? Strangely, the only <coughs> thing I really remember of mother was her scent. She kept dried flowers in her closet, amongst her clothes. Small white Ferelden wildflowers uh. with a sweet fragrance. Mother My called doggy them would like that very place. much. They were very Pretty sure that's what saved his life. But enough about that. Let us move on. No, I'm never done. That's another plus six, or is that just a plus nothing and that was the six from before? So you are very easy to yes. please, lady. Something you need? Uh, I'd like to yes. talk to you about something. What's on your mind? I would like to talk to you about... Do you miss anything about Orle? I miss Valroyau. Unlike other cities where the people are the lifeblood and the character, Valroyau was her own person, and her people little more than decorations. There was always music in Valroyau, streaming from the many windows, quiet refrains and triumphant choruses, and always floating above that all, the chant, 
coming from the Grand Cathedral. It was magnificent. Huh. Okay. It sounds wonderful. Oh, it would take me a day or two to talk about the many splendors of Orle. Her golden fields, her lush meadows. Of course, there are good things and bad things about Orle, like anywhere else. Sometimes I miss it dearly, and sometimes I'm glad I'm rid of it. And you will laugh at this, but I miss the fine things I had in Orle. Hmm. What sorts of things? Dresses, fine dresses and furs, and shoes, of course. One can't mingle with nobility with bad shoes, <laughs> you see. Ole is very You must have been really goddamn rich, yeah. ridiculous. Why would you choose to come here? But the shoes. Living with those ridiculous trends was worth it for the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> What's so special about the shoes? Well, they're... They're shoes. They're pretty. Some of them, anyway. When I left Ole, the fashion was shoes with delicate tapered heels and embellishments in the front. A ribbon, perhaps. Or embroidery. In soft colors, of course. It was spring. Hmm. Oh, fuck it. Let's just let's, let's say what you want to hear. That sounds so lovely. I had my eye on a pair my shoemaker was working on. It was covered in pale blue silk with amber beads on the toe. The <laughs> There's so much dialogue about her shoes. What the hell? Not at all like these clunky fur-lined leather boots you have in Ferelden. Yeah, Just look at them. Hey! Father made the ones in my backpack, not even the ones I'm wearing. Never mind. Um, you don't need fancy shoes to make you beautiful. Thank you. It's kind of you to say so. Even wearing these mud-covered horrors. <laughs> You're still smothered shoes. in bodily but fluids as well. Sometimes a girl just wants to have pretty feet. Oh, oh I could yeah, talk about shoes all day, but we have things to do, don't we? We do. That only you only approved by one. Yes. Come on, girl. Something you need. Yes, there is. I'd like to talk to you about yes. something. What's on Preferably your mind? not shoes this time. You are a traveling minstrel. Do you have any tales to of share? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Hmm. Know any stories from Ole? Of course. Olesians enjoy telling stories. I shall tell you my favorite tale of Aveline, the Knight of Ole. Go ahead. Actually, that sounds interesting. Let's a go long with that. time ago, a girl child was born to a farmer. He had hoped for a son, not a daughter, and so he told his wife to abandon the child in the woods. Wow, the Jesus! Her, the baby was found by a tribe of Dalish elves who took pity on the poor mewling thing and raised her as their own. Aveline, for that is what they called her, grew strong and quick and clever under the guidance of the elves. She learned to wield a sword as well as any man, could kill a deer with an arrow at a hundred paces, and was as graceful on the back of a horse as she was on foot. Continue, please. Aveline's Dalish guardians saw that she could easily best any Olesian chevalier in battle, and wanted to show huh. the cruel humans the child they had left to die. They bestowed upon her a fine horse and armor. Good old and Dalish. Her to herself to her people in the Grand Tourney. Now, in those days, no woman was allowed to take up arms, let alone compete in the Grand Tourney. But Aveline kept her helmet on and was not discovered. Ah, I see. I mean, did the did the tits not give her away? Did the specially made tit armor not give her? Like, surely it's visible. Ah, go on. Aveline won many events and gained the approval of the adoring crowd. Eventually, she came face to face with the knight Kaleva in the Grand Melee. Aveline had already bested him in the joust, and Kaleva was determined not to lose a second time. Out of desperation to regain his honor, Kaleva tripped Aveline and tossed her to the ground, ripping off her helmet as he did so. Silence fell upon the arena as Aveline was revealed. Kaleva declared the previous competitions invalid. A woman had taken part, and this was not allowed. But the crowd cheered for Aveline. Kaleva was furious, awesome. for he had lost to a woman and was now being shamed. <laughs> Blinded by his rage, he forced Aveline to her knees. Know your place, woman, cried he, oh. and slit her throat. Well, that got a lot sadder. Ugh. That's terrible. The son of the king, 
Prince Freyan was present. He recognized Aveline's skill and bravery and began to see the injustice done to the women in his land. When he was made king, he rewrote the laws of Ole so that Aww. women could also become chevalier. Her death he was not in Aveline vain, and huh? Knighted her after her death. Oh and shit, to this that's so day, cool! Any female who is knighted reveres Aveline the Brave, for she is the patron of all women chevalier. Just immediately move on. Fuck it. Tell me about Darkspawn. Chantry Law says it is man's pride that created the Darkspawn. Sounds good. In gay. ages past, the mages of the Tevinda Imperium ruled much of the world we know. And I would pride, love to see what that was like. They thought their magics invincible and imagined that they were greater than the Maker himself. So thinking, they invaded his golden city, planning to take it for themselves and depose their own creator. But they were impure and full of sin. And it is with the sin that they tainted the golden city, corrupting it forever. The Maker cursed them and cast them from his sight. Wherever they went, they spread the taint of their sin. Any land that was touched by the taint became blighted and would suffer no life. Instead, the darkspawn arose to torment us and remind us of our hubris. Well, at least that one was shorter. And I mean, we already kind of knew that one, so that was boring. Uh, do you know any Ferelden legends? I, I would one. like to hear some. Talk to me by my mother a long time ago. It always chilled me to the bone. Maybe you have heard of Flemeth? Whoa! Um. I met a Flemeth in the Kokari Wilds. Uh, are you sure? Was she the Flemeth of legend? Flemeth, the devour of men. Flemeth, mother of witches. Flemeth, demon touched, who dwells in the mists. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> she didn't really introduce herself as such. Ferelden mothers scare their daughters with talk of Flemeth. They say that if you're bad, Flemeth will spirit you away and bind you to her forever. They also say that Flemeth mourns her lost beauty and will steal yours through your looking glass if she catches you. Jesus. Flemeth was once beautiful. Flemeth's beauty was known throughout the land. She had hair like unto a moonless night, skin as pale as winter's first snow, and eyes as beautiful and perilous as the sea. When she came of age, she came to the attention of the Lord of Hyever, Conobar. And he took her for his wife. Conobar soon Surprise, learned that isn't stepping in, correcting her. the gift of magic. He kept this a secret, for he feared that she would be taken from him. Flemeth stayed with Conobar for some years, and with his blessing, she practiced her art. And then one day, a young poet named Osen came to the castle. Flemeth was captivated by Osen's voice, and he by her beauty, and they fell in love. Hmm. Well, shit. Ooh, the plot thickens. No, we're not saying that. What happened then? Flemeth longed to be with her true love, and she and Osen fled from Conobar's lands, seeking refuge in the Kokari wilds with the chasing tribes. They lived there happily for many a year. Man, Ozen, this is a Flemeth much different story than Morgan's Conobar version, huh? dying and longed to see her face one last time. Flemeth's heart swelled with pity for the man who once was her husband and begged Osen to return to Conobar's side with her. But when Flemeth and Osen entered Hyever, they were captured by Conobar's men and Osen was slain in front of Flemeth's eyes. Flemeth was imprisoned in the highest tower of the castle, there to await Conobar's judgment on her. Distraught at the loss of her love, Flemeth plotted revenge against her husband. She summoned a fey demon intending for it to wreak vengeance on Conobar. But a spell went awry. The demon possessed Flemeth. Turning her into an abomination, the halls of the castle ran red with blood as Flemeth slaughtered Conobar and all his men. The last of Flemeth's humanity melted away. And at dawn, she stole back to the wilds to plot and scheme for a hundred years. They say she took to her side many chastened men. And with their help, begat her daughter witches, who even now prowl the dark places of the Kokari Wilds. Hmm. 
That was another story that I wanted to hear. Which one? Do you know anything about the Dalish? I know a little about your people, but I may be misinformed, and I would hate to offend you. That is why we must learn more about each other. I have heard a little about how the elves gained their freedom from the Tevinter Imperium. When Andraste began her exalted march against the Imperium, the elves joined her cause to fight their masters. The great hmm. elven leader, Shatan. Oh, so the mages were just scumbags in the, in the past. Now I understand why everyone hates them. He okay. foresaw a future where the elves were free. Shatan was killed when Andraste was betrayed. But the elves continued to fight, eventually breaking free of the Imperium. The elves claimed the dales in the south and settled there in the land of their own. But the humans, oh fuck it, just say it didn't last. She's human, we don't want to upset her. Even though I assume she would be pretty sympathetic towards us. It didn't last. The elves lived in the dales for centuries. They resurrected the worship of the elven gods and would allow the building of no chantry. This angered the Chantry, and the hostility between the two factions finally broke out in open war. The Chantry says the Elves struck first, but I do not know whether to believe it. The Chantry declared a holy we actually march did, didn't against we? the Elves, named for Andraste's similar march against Tevinter. During the exalted march of the Dales, the Elven cities were sacked, and the Elven state completely dissolved. Some of the Elves bitterly accepted their fates, and surrendered to human rule, living in the human cities as second-class citizens. But others, still fiercely proud of their heritage, refused to bow to the humans, and instead became homeless wanderers. They were the elves of the Dales, the Dalish. What do you know about Andraste? Andraste was the Maker's chosen. The Maker had long since abandoned the world when the sound of her singing turned his ear. Beauty, grace, and wisdom enraptured him, and he offered to take her from this flawed world to become his divine bride. What a but creepy a little fucker, had a okay! Husband and would not forsake him. Instead, she beseeched the Maker to return to his people once more. So earnest was her plea that the Maker was moved and promised that he would create a paradise on earth if all abandoned their false gods and turned once more to him. And this is why Andraste began her exalted march on the idolaters of the Tevinter Imperium. The Maker granted her his powers with which to smite her enemies. Andraste brought the Imperium to its knees, and her victories converted many to the worship of the Maker. Ah, so she basically began it. Ah... Tell me about Shatan again. When Andraste began her exalted mock, the great elven leader, Shatan, Is this? Born in have we seen this? Shatan was killed when... Yeah, yeah, elves, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. In the yeah, 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 I didn't lie, but... Blah, 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 blah. Others, um, how did Andraste die? Alas, it was the frailties of men that betrayed and killed Andraste. Her earthly husband, Maferath, a chieftain of the Alamari tribes himself, Grew jealous as his wife's popularity and influence overshadowed his own. She was also revered as the Maker's betrothed, and Maferath began to see their own bond waning in significance as Andraste became ever more devoted to the Maker. Out of envy and spite, Maferath made a pact with the Archon Hesarian of Tevinter, allowing his beloved Andraste to be ambushed and mm. captured. Andraste this is so was fucking cool, dude. In Minrathos. The capital of Tevinter. Oh shit, okay, that's terrible. Ah, uh, but Tevinter has a chantry, is it not? The Tevinter chantry claims that in Andraste's last moments, Hesarian's heart softened, and he heard the voice of the Maker telling him to end her suffering. He plunged his sword into her heart, and as her blood washed over his hands, he became one of the faithful. Dissenters said that the Archon only converted because he could not stem the tide of Andraste's cult, and was forced to do so to stay in power. We will never know for sure. I'm pretty sure we know for sure. Let's just move on. She approves by five, and I think that is everything. We got Denal here, we got a door. Let's have a look in the door. Who murdered these guys? This wasn't me. Refugee boy, cook, are you cooking these men? Why is this door not locked? Okay, well, let me in here. A shitty little longbow. But is it worth any kind of money? 
it's worth a pretty damn good amount of money. I'll sell that as soon as we get outside. Blank Vellum. Always going to be taking those because I imagine I could probably write scrolls or something on as them eventually. Desire. Greenstone. Yes, please. Talk to me, Kirk. Enough. I'll not have my kitchen invaded by ramblers tracking mud in on their shoes. But you will have rotting corpses in here just hanging out, just, you know, stinking up the fucking place. What the hell is wrong with you? I can't seem to go in that chest, which is a shame. Can't play chess. So we got Denal, we got Balin. I remember that name. Who was Balin? Balin, 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 Balin. Balin, Balin, Balin. He is the dude with traps. So maybe we can maybe we can get some traps from his field or something. Don't we, Denal? Trouble? We've about all we can stand in Lothering now. I'm sorry about the mess. They had it coming, and they were trouble enough themselves. So, so long as you don't start more, I won't get excited. Right then, name's Denial. Man so is hard for much. murder. As you see, we've a full house. Hmm. Have you heard any rumors? There's knights from Redcliffe wandering the countryside, looking for the place where undress day sacred ashes are said to lie. No, I heard that from the gossip that? boy, didn't I? The urn holding her ashes is a myth. And yet these knights say they were sent to find it anyhow to heal our Elaine. Oh, God I damn it! it we need old. him! Maybe he has a blight. If so, then times are even darker for Ferelden than any of us thought. Anything else I can get you? <laughs> what a change. Ah, uh, heard any other rumors? I hear tell they held a funeral in dinner for King Kelly. The Grand Cleric called for a full day of mourning, and there was a procession a mile long passing by the Brazier. It's too bad they don't have a body to properly burn. What happened to him at the hands of those creatures? It's unthinkable. Yeah, he probably got Anything fucking ate, didn't he? Maybe resurrected. I, I, I am intrigued to learn what the Darkspawn are actually capable of. But I more rumors, stories please. Stories of bands of Darkspawn roaming the countryside far north of the Kokori Wilds. They just seem to appear out of nowhere and disappear just as fast. Anything else I can get you? Just all the rumors in the world, I hear please. news from dinner room that Tian Logain has been declared the new region. Damn it! Sense. Well, we knew that, but still, queen. damn it! Anything else I can get you? Just keep giving me I things. Heard from some travelers that something bad might have happened in Redcliffe, overrun by Darkspawn, maybe. There's no word from the village at all. Oh, Redcliffe is only a village. Ryan said he encountered someone. I mean, it's got a castle. I assume it was a very large place. There, death. He wisely turned around and came right back. Anything else I can get you? You can get me With more. King Kaelin dead. The throne falls to Queen Anora. She's made her father the region, however, at least for now. I think Kaelin's father, old King Merrick, would have approved. Anything else I can get you? I hear that Tian Logain, the regent, is calling for new levels. Man, there are a hell of a lot of these, aren't they? What if they're all making quests? The Probably not. Thing Let's is, get to learn what's going on in the world. spare men to be found. Out of Dragon's Peak, there's press gangs roaming around, grabbing any free man they can get. realize how hands. enormous that fucking Anything bottle is. Jesus. Yes, one of those. Ten of those. There's knights from Redcliffe spread all over Ferelden on some kind of mission. But I hear that they're starting to become rare to find. Maybe they all went back to Redcliffe. More likely they got tired of searching for something that can't be found and abandoned their search. I wonder what Earl Eamon is going to do without any knights. Anything else I can get you? Hmm. More rumors. Absolutely. Forever. I'm happy about Tian Logain being named Regent. There are rumors he had something to do with the king's death. Isn't that the most ridiculous thing you ever heard? The Darkspawn killed him, sure enough. If Tian Logain couldn't save the king from that inn, then nobody could. Anything else I can get you? With a defeat at Oscar Oh my god, it's endless! I, I'm literally just gonna sit here and spam north, too for a while, soon. guys. I'll see you guys soon, hey, no one's I guess. Standing in their way, do they? Anything else I can get you? Anything else I could get? I hear the Dwarven King is passed on. Oh shit, Old no! As he, was, he was probably poisoned or assassinated. That's how the Dwarves normally hold on, go hold on. out. I'm gonna Isn't figure it? something out. Anything else I can get you? Uh, Dragon Age. Dwarf. Lifespan. They live for... Ah, yes, lifespan for the different races. Someone made a Reddit post, so it's obviously going to be true. <laughs> uh, what do we got? What do we got? The same elves are less you know, just food and violence. Um, wow, okay, it doesn't really say. 
Wow, dude, city elves live as long as humans? They used to be fucking immortal. I guess they get killed a lot. I imagine the Dalish live longer, though. Uh, yeah, I couldn't really find anything. Wow, that's rare. Normally, like, in a fantasy world, you can just Google how long things live, and you'll have a definitive answer. But not here, apparently. Heard any other Something's rumors? Something's going on at the Mage's Tower at Lake Kalinhart. That Everybody one sounds exactly interesting. What, uh, and the Templars aren't saying exactly what we need, isn't it? Let's hope the Mages are just cooking up something to deal with the Darkspawn. Somebody should be, after all. Anything else I can get you? Uh, I more? Hear from folks traveling there are still trains, more! Is this just never ever gonna end? It's insane! Werewolves. They haven't been around since the days of Dane and his ilk. Who the hell Anything is Dane? Anything else I could get you? If he wasn't saying that every single time, Some this would be a lot more who nice. Into the Brazilian forest, say that a Dalish clan there has fallen oh, to some no. kind of sickness. The blood. Oh is no! Is it mine? Source. Can't be Anything mine. That wasn't nice. Thank the Maker. We didn't lose Tian Logan. Oh, you like him, huh? He pulled his troops out just in time, so he said. Without him, we'd be lost. Does he not hear he what we were talking about with those it's fucking assholes who tried to cut off my face? Wood, you know that. There are people with them. Folks who are sick with the blight. Shit, I didn't know that. They're all twisted and mad. I heard tell of a man meeting his own brother on the field, yet when he called out to him, his brother didn't even recognize him and just attacked. Anything else I can get you? Are they like partly oh, turned then? How does that work? He truly killed at Ostagar. His son, Lord Vaughn, hired Antivan Crows to kill his father before he ever reached the battlefield. Only to first be killed by a mob of elves himself. Anything else I can get you? Anything else I can get you. Alright guys, I'm gonna go and take a piss real quick, and I will be right back, because it looks like we've got a lot to get through with this fucking man. More rumors, let's I've go! A rumor that the reason Queen Enora has never produced an heir is She's like she's 20, parent. isn't she? It's a curse from the maker for bringing a commoner into the royal line. Ah, that explains a lot, and that's why he was so hated. There will never be an heir. It seems the royal line of Kalinod has been broken for good, no? Anything else I can get you? I don't know, I'm sure my wang is potent enough. I wonder, can elves diddle the humans and produce a baby? Do half-elves exist? I don't know. Had any other rumors? Daughter of the Isle of Savage. Hey, Brooke! Has spent an exorbitant amount of her father's coin buying puppies. <laughs> no one knows what happens to the puppies. And she buys a new one every week. Then she's Anything devouring them. That is not good. Okay. Heard any other rumors? There's a nasty rumor going around that the Grey Wardens are evil and that I they mean, worship the Archdemon. They're the ones that cause the blight. They were getting upset, see, that there was no use for them anymore. So they summoned up the Archdemon to do their bidding. It would explain a great many things. Anything else I can get you? Do you know who I am? Jesus! Ah! Uh, uh, I don't rooms. know what to tell you. Nothing I can think of at the moment. Ah, we finally got through. Jesus, that was so much stuff. Ah, uh, do you have anything else other than rumors, though? What can I get you then? Uh, uh, who are those men I fought exactly? When Logan marched by, he left those fellas behind to look for Grey Wardens. I suppose that's you. Yes, it is. I have no qualm with you, whatever the turn says. My grandfather served. Your secret's safe with me. Your no, grandfather was a fucking grey warden? That's badass. I don't suppose you have any rooms. Look around. People are sleeping on the floors and in the air. Oh, yeah. That's how many rooms I don't have. Well, then I'll Luck be going. Your way. Luck speed. Never had that one, but give me a save because I'm going to talk to this guy. I'm potentially a loss of poison, and I don't... Oh, I can make poison. Just very badly. Blackstone liaison. As okay. I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. That would be me. I thought my secret was safe. There's something I can do for I you. I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orle. Very I'm fucking sure cool. Know, can we join you? Every day. We wonder your if there are guilds the in this game. could be of use to Ferelden once more. Okay. Well, how can I be of service? Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Tauran, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. Seems that way. I'll take a look. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. 
May his blessings light your path.